In this how-to, we'll be covering calendars in Gap+. In Calendars Audit, you can view the total number of calendars across your entire domain. These values show the number of calendars that fall under these categories. External calendars are calendars that are being shared to outside users. Domain calendars show all the calendars for every user in your domain. Public calendars show those which are shared publicly. Imported calendars show you any calendar that has been imported. Private calendars show all the calendars that have not been shared to any other users. In this example, I'll use a filter to look for external domains from a particular user. Here we can see that this calendar is being shared to an external free busy reader. If I didn't like a certain calendar being shared externally, I can click on the modify permissions button and in the free busy readers tab, I can delete that user. Clicking the save button will apply these changes. In modify permissions, there are four tabs, owners, writers, readers, and free busy readers. In the Owners tab, you can change complete ownership of secondary calendars. For primary calendars, you can only add additional users as owners, but not replace the original owner. In the Writers tab, you can add users as writers, who can create events for this calendar. In the Readers tab, you can add users and also domains as readers. This will allow these users to be able to view this calendar. And finally, the Free Busy Readers tab allows the user to view the free or busy times of the owner. Using the Export Data button, you can save all the information for calendars domain-wide to a CSV or Google Sheet format. Using the Calendar Events button on the right, we can view all calendar events for this user. When we click the button, we will be brought to the Calendar Events tab. Here you can view all the events that this user has on their calendar. You can use the quick links to sort between past and future events. Using the eye icon, you can view all the details pertaining to that event. I could also use a filter type to look for full text search, which would allow me to search for an event that contained a certain phrase. Events per user status would help me be able to filter between deleted users, suspended users, and admins. To take action on an event, use the drop down menu on the right. Here you can delete the event, delete a particular attendee, delete all recurring events, or delete a particular attendee from all recurring events. All recurring events will have this recurring event icon. You can also go to Calendars from the Users Audit section. Here you can view every user's number of calendar events, how many past events they have attended, how many future events they plan to attend, and their total amount of calendar events. Clicking on any value here will immediately bring you to that information. Don't forget to go to our website to get a free 15-day trial of Gap+. If you enjoyed this how-to, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to turn on the bell so you never miss a video and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see from us in the future. That covers this Gap Plus how-to. Thanks for watching.